Welcome back to the Gaming Co-op. I just wanted to give you a heads up on what's going on with the channel since I've been so quiet since the last video, which was the review on the STC brushes by Games Workshop. So I decided to pull out the army. Uh, we've got the green light here in Ontario to go back to play on Warhammer 40,000. I wanted to see how much I've been able to get done since COVID started. And the army has successfully reached over 2,000 points in models. So I have about two of each of the best models from the range, as well as some kit bashing done, as you can see with that death threat. And I have been able to successfully build up enough models to play with and tinker and do some list creation including this burn Obama, which can also double as a Wazboom Blasted Jet or a Daka Jet, because I made it so that it could be dry fit easily in order to adapt with things and see what I like the most of. I've used it in three games while running it as a burn Obama, and it has done absolutely crazy amounts of damage. So it does the flyover bombing, and then it does mortal wounds when it explodes as well with the flying headbutt, and it's an absolutely phenomenal model. I'm really enjoying using it. It's just a a great unit to have in a threat overload list, which is something that I've accidentally developed when I decided to paint two of every model. Even in the matchup where it did the least amount of damage, it soaked up a ton of shots. And as such, it just is such a important, I think, unit right now in the Orc Codex. In addition to the flyer, I also got two Death Dreads finished up, aptly named Mork and Gork, the one that you've seen in the past. And this one here, which didn't make it onto weekly goals, was finished up as well recently. So what have I been taking in the list? Well, it's been two of all the buggies I own, two trucks, a squad of 11 boys, I think 10 Gretchen, 15 other Gretchen, the 10 man squad rides in one of the trucks, the Burn Obama, a six man unit of war bikers, two five man squads of commandos with power claws and uh, demolition charges or whatever. And it's been going really well. Oh, and there's also a weird boy in there. He gets the relic, the Scorched Kit Bones. I've been giving him the Death Skull's uh, Psychic Power, which is Maniacal Seizures for the additional rend, and it's really working out well for just making the unit super vulnerable, as well as also uh, Fists of Gork and Mork, but I think I might swap that back to the jump. And the list has been led by the Death Kill Wartrike, who takes Might is Right for the plus one strength and attacks, giving him six attacks. It's a little bit more killy on Horde units, which I've been appreciating in my games. Another Another standout unit has been the Death Dreads. I have them equipped with two claws and two mega guns, and they've been doing absolutely crazy amounts of damage. The mega guns are really good at taking hot shots from long range. You're only getting two shots, but you're hitting off fives, reloading one of the dice, because I always take Death Skulls in this edition. And those claws in close combat, man, at strength 10, AP minus three, flat three damage, they just tear through everything that they come into combat with, which is hilarious. I'm surprised by how amazingly good they've been. Their toughness seven, they have a three up armor save. They're actually relatively durable, even though they're only eight wounds and just them foot slogging across the board has been really effective. So now let's talk about the matchups that I went into. The first game back was against Necrons featuring two 20-man squads of warriors with Reapers and Flares. There was a couple of Destroyers in there. It was a really good game, absolutely blast. I couldn't believe how fun it was to play against the Necrons and see their reanimations. The second one was against the Blood Angels and it was really cool to face off against them, a very hyper mobile and assault focused uh, intercessor list and then the last one was against the char uh i played a 1500 point game against that army way back which is on the channel and you can go and see that battle report somewhere in the history i think i'll try and link it here as well as far as results go it was one win one draw and one loss so that's pretty good at 2000 points i thought it would be all losses to be honest um but yeah the yorks really hold their own against a lot of new codexes which is exciting to see and with the new codex right around the corner i'm sure we'll see even more victories to come so thanks for watching. Stick around and we'll be having more videos coming your way.